Why did Jesus have long hair like a homo? Dear, <laughs> dear Pastor, last week at homeschool, me and my brother were looking at some pictures of Jesus, and we saw he had real long hairs on his head. He looks like my sister, Susanna Beth. I asked my teacher, Mama, if that means that Jesus were a gay old butt-sniffing homo like my mama's cousin, gay Bobby. But my mama didn't know the answer. Can you please tell us? Yours in Christ of Jesus, Billy Joe. I, w I walk into a bar with a shotgun. Uh -huh. And I go up to the manager and say, got a nice place here. Be a shame if something happened to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I tell you what, you give me 50 bucks a week and... You'll be okay. Yeah. Nothing's going to happen to it. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? No. Is that, is that just? No. So essentially God's coming down and saying, you know, heck of a life you got there. Be a shame if you had to burn in hell for all eternity, isn't it? Yeah. But I tell you what, I got my son here. You believe in him, you'll be all right. <laughs> all right. So that, if it wasn't fair for me with the bartender, why isn't it fair with, with God and Jesus? Because you're human and he is holy and perfect. Welcome to the Atheist Experience. I'm your host, Matt Dillahunty, with recent master's graduate, Russell Glasser. <laughs> thank you. Thank you Yay. very much. Uh, first of all, Matt, I, I, I got uh, to congratulate you on, on your fashion courage. That shirt, <laughs> <laughs> that shirt buzzes across the TV screen. Is Jesus Christ coming? Well, it's not even breathing hard as far as I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> Channel 11 is 24 hours a day, nothing but religion. And there's so much of it that it spills over to this channel and sometimes preempts my show. I don't when you're hungry, you got to eat, right? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you understand where I'm coming from? No. Is this non sequitur hour? Did I miss something? No, this is like, you know, the, it's like religion is food and you can't eat if you're atheist. Atheism <laughs> leads to Darwinism, leads to Nazism. Nazis like motorcycles. Motorcycles are bad. You can't buy motorcycles on Sunday. See what oh, you do? Okay. No, I got it. <laughs> Where are you from? What's your ethnicity? My ethnicity? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I'll, that comes from a long line of things, you know. Such as? Uh, s such as ethnicity, you see. What? Uh, that'll, take, that'll make, that's a whole nother show. It has legs. It has, it has magic. Eat. It has teeth. It has noodly appendages. <laughs> Maybe there's a little bit more behind this. Oh, you don't know that the scientists are huge partiers. Those yeah. guys, they're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. As soon as, they, as soon as they take those pocket protectors out, they get down. Exactly. You don't know what they got in those beakers. I know. <laughs> I want you guys to like come up with PowerPoint presentations on frequently asked stupid questions. Uh, I was wondering, do you believe in uh, evolution? Do you believe you came from a monkey? Can a scientist explain why there's a monkey that can sit next to you and you look a whole lot different? Sure, because we didn't descend from monkeys. Monkeys oh, no. and humans descended from a common ancestor. You really need to go to talk origins. <laughs> God, I mean, the, the, the all-encompassing non-answer. Do you ever... Do you ever uh, just look up at the sky or anything, or look around you, and all the nature and all that I, I, kind I've of thing. I've looked all over the think, place, and I have yet to find you, a god. How did you, I mean, how do you breathe every day? How did we come about? How is there so Muscles contract my you? lungs. Go read a book. <laughs> so you believe in something that you have no reason to. What do I believe in that I don't have a reason to? To believe in no god. No. I'm That's disbelieving. Just, uh, I hate to break no. Up, but no. In, in the society, Shut in the up. <laughs> no. You're making a claim that a God exists, and I'm saying I don't believe it based on evidence. So what do you do? Rather than providing the evidence, providing the justification, you simply claim, well, you believe in no God based on no evidence, so ha ha ha, we're equally stupid. No, we're not. Okay, can I ask you this? Okay. Do you think a cat came from a dog? What proof and evidence do you have that <laughs> atheism is accurate and correct? I Didn't I answer this in the email to you that your question is nonsensical because atheism doesn't have a burden of proof? It is the rejection of claims that haven't met their burden of proof? So what proof and evidence do you have that atheism is accurate You're and done. Correct? You're done, John. You're done. I can't explain it. I, I explained it in email. I explained it here. 
We are on a shortened scope. There's no way I'm going to waste time explaining things like that. One is a faith-based position, and one is a rejection of a faith-based position. Now, I'm, I'm going to give you one last shot. You say that the research has been done, there's proof of God, answer the question or go away. What I'm trying to explain to you guys is what... You're going away. If, if, if there was a God... If there was a God, he would have hung up on your ass already. Uh -huh, there's textbooks. There's there. textbooks. Yeah, can you read from the textbook the part that says it's a Who good me? idea to be gays and lesbians? For me, I don't have it with me. Well, then you are making stuff up. <laughs> You're making stuff up. You're bringing you stuff guys? up that's completely you irrelevant. You You've called have, uh... numerous to... You know what? I'm not even bothering to put you on hold. Instead of, in our case, we should be more pissed off that there are a whole bunch of stupid people breeding and filling up the population with more stupid people. Yes, John. Did you go to elementary school? Yes, I did. What did they teach you in that book? Which book? Uh, it's science <laughs> C book. Spot Run, C Jane Run. I... No, you know what I'm talking about. Actually, no, I don't. What is... uh, they, they didn't teach you you uh, revolved from an from a ape? Yeah, he's coming back. How do you know this? He's here. Really? Hmm. Oh, where? With the monkeys. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Then he's flinging poo. <laughs> <laughs> I see things that man couldn't have possibly created itself. Like what? Uh, look up at the moon, look at the clouds. The man, nobody's claiming that like man that. created... Man create that? Nobody's claiming that man created the moon. There's a cartoon I, I saw recently where you've got a couple guys going door to door, handing out a pamphlet, and the guy looks at it and says, there's nothing on this, and they say, yeah, we're atheists. And if you don't call in, we'll keep telling jokes. How many atheists does it take to change the light bulb? I don't know. How many? One. One? They just take the old one out and put the new one. Oh, in. okay. <laughs> how many creationists does it take to change the light bulb? Uh, I don't know. How many? Zero. They've invented torches. Where a guy's in Ireland and uh, suddenly someone grabs him from behind with a knife in his throat and says, Are you Protestant or Catholic? guy doesn't know what to say because the wrong answer could get him killed so he thinks fast and says Jewish and then he hears I'm the luckiest Palestinian in all of Ireland <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine his little daughter went to the baptism of her new cousin his daughter looked up at him and said daddy why is that man brainwashing the baby <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one there's something yeah, about this show that drives the host to shave his head and grow a goatee if you don't come here and kiss my feet I'm going to burn you for all eternity in a lake of fire. That's not a loving God. That's a vindictive and cruel God. And even if he were real, which I really don't think he is, even if he were, that is not a God that I could see worshipping because he's just really sick. Well, God gives us science. He gives us the ability to figure out things and then come up with answers. But I'm not sorry. Not all of them are going to be from him. You're, you, no. you, if, if you're making these claims, you're going to have to verify it. Yeah. I mean, basically, you're, you're, making, you're putting forward a bunch of claims and you're not giving us any verification or evidence for what you believe. You're just saying God does that. Yeah. You're saying, well, here's some evidence sorry. right here. Here's some evidence right okay. here. When I speak to God, he answers my prayers. You know, good for you. Uh, some of us expect a bit more. Uh, you know, I've seen people with the bumper stickers, you know, nothing fails like prayer. We should make one nothing fails like prayer except abstinence only education. <laughs> After 500,000 years, uh, I would think that even 72 virgins would kind of get a little well, tired. Well, it's, it's hard to please 72 virgins, but at the same well, actually, it'd be easier than somebody. Speak for yourself. <laughs> what? I mean, 72 virgins, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to imagine that you'd be able to find that many in heaven when you can't find this many on this planet. But. <laughs> Right. I guess that's my point, is that sexuality is a very complex subject. Most definitely. And uh, <laughs> That's the best call on gay porn we've ever had. <laughs> what we've come to learn is that we need the gays, because um, we found out from Katrina that gays have a magical protective shield that prevents hurricanes from destroying their area of the city, because the French Quarter was right, mostly right. preserved. And then we have this other thing where you have people who... Um, are in drought situations who are desperately praying for rain and not getting it and yet up in the UK they've been having this series of floods and the pastors have said that this is God flooding them because they have too many gays and so I'm thinking if we just spread the gays around all over in the right proportions we right. can get a nice good climate system out of this and maybe curtail global warming.
Okay. Gays are the secret to long life. Yeah. Pat Robertson's walking along. There's a little kid there with a box full of kittens. And Pat leans over and looks in and says, Wow, those, those are just some of the prettiest kittens I've ever seen. And the boy says, Yes, they're Christian kittens. And about a week later, he had a lunch meeting with Ann Coulter, and they were walking back by, and Pat says, Ann, go over and ask him about them kittens. He's got the cutest answer you've ever heard. And Ann Coulter walks over, and she says, um, Well, those, those are just really precious, cute kittens. And the kid says, Yeah, they're, they're atheist kittens. And Pat says, Wait a minute, last week you told me they were Christian kittens. And the boy says, yeah, but now their eyes are open. <laughs> and then, whatever. It's all useless. Why am I bothering doing this show? Unless my soul is a black pit of despair. I mean, really, when I, when I die, it's just all going to be over. Why should I care if I live another minute? Because we have another caller to get to. Oh! Because living is its own damn reward. Ah! I knew there was Because something. living for another minute is better than dying right now. That's it. But thanks, everybody, for watching. Coming up next on Public Access is Jesus versus Religion. You can't call in, but you can stay tuned and watch if you want to. I can already tell you who won. It wasn't Jesus. You know, a whole bunch of atheists, and y'all just want to piss everybody off. And <laughs> why can't y'all believe in God? <laughs> okay, I, I have a question for Russell, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Russell, uh, uh, why do you eat babies? <laughs>